one night you had a roof over your head. Yes. The next night you was on the street fending for yourself. Yes. What happened in between those 24 hours? Well, I had got... Oh, I don't have a relationship with him. So he doesn't... Y'all don't talk? Y'all don't... I don't see him. I don't talk to him. I don't do that to him like that. Why not? Because he left how he came in my life. He just... But at the same time, I just wish my daddy was there. Because I was dead to the little girl. I was dead to the little girl. Okay. And does she know that you're homeless? No, I didn't tell her. Where does she think that you stay? She think that... Um, if mom were to happen to be watching this video on YouTube, mm -hmm. um, what message do you have for her? I would have for her that I just want her to... What's up, YouTube? Go ahead and smash that like button. Also, if you like the video, share it. It helps to spread it in the algorithm. Now, back to the content. Back to the content. Back to the content. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? I'm doing good. All right, all right. Um, so are you homeless? Yes. Okay. Um, and so how old are you? I'm 23 years old. 23. And so how long have you been homeless? For a year. A year? Okay. Um, and so what was it that happened a year ago that caused you to become homeless? Well, I was staying with my mother. And when I was there with her, I had mental issues. So she um, put me out because she, she was like, you are not stable enough to stay with me. So she put me out and once you put me out, I just been on the street ever since. Okay, okay. Um, do, you, do you have any kids? No. Okay. Um, have you ever been married? No. No, okay. All right, so. Let's just, let's go back to the beginning. So, so where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> okay. So you from here? You from ATL? Yeah. Hey, hey man, shout out that Atlanta, man. Shout it out that ATL. What part of Atlanta are you from? Southwest. Atlanta, hey, Georgia. shout out the SWATs, man. Were you College Park, East Point, which one? College Park. College Park, man. Shout out that College Park, man, all day. All right, and so growing up in College Park, um, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? No. Okay, who'd you grow up with? My mom. My dad was very abusive to my mother. So when I was growing up, she broke up with him and everything because he was hitting on her in front of her children. So she broke up with him because she thought it was the best thing to do for her kids. Uh, what age were you when that happened? I was five years old. Five years old. Okay. Okay. Um, and so how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have four brothers and one sister. Okay. Um, all same mom and same dad or different mom different dads? Um, one is a different dad and the rest are on the same dad. Okay. And so that's the same dad with you? Yes. And so where are you in the birth order? Are you like, you know, firstborn? Or middle like, child. Middle child? Okay. Yes. Are you like the only one that has like mental issues? Yes. Okay. Um, and so what age were these mental issues diagnosed? 12 years old. 12 years old? And so is that when like they start receiving a check for that? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, do they still receive a check for that? Yes. They do? Mm -hmm. My mom is my payee. Your mom is your payee? Yes. And she put you out a year ago? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's talk about that. So a year ago, you were staying with your mom. One night, you had a roof over your head. Yes. The next night, you was on the street fending for yourself. Yes. What happened in between those 24 hours? Well, I had got mad at my mom because she was being very disrespectful. She wouldn't give me my money and nothing like that. And I feel like if for me, she get a check too because she had lupus. So I feel like if it's, if it's for, if for me, I need to get my money. Because I'm on the street now, so I need my money to survive. And she won't give my money, so I got upset and I tried to call the police and everything. But that was like that since I'm on your payee, you can't do that real about it because I can't be my own payee because I'm not stable enough. So, does she not give you money? Like, as far as when y'all when you was living with her, did she not give you money? Not really. She, she I, I get 750 and she gave me about a hundred. 
and I was living with her. And she she don't told me I had to pay her um a hundred to stay with her, just a hundred or fifty dollars to stay with her. But she took more than that. So it's hundred fifty dollars for rent. Mm -hmm. But then I mean, you know, there's other expenses, you know, there's food, there's different things like that. Clothes. I, I got food stamps. I buy my own food. Okay, so you have food stamps. Okay, so so you, what you're saying is basically that you had your expenses taken care of. Yeah. And she wasn't giving you what you felt like you deserved. No, she wasn't giving my, my money from my checks. Okay, okay. Um, if I asked your mom why she wasn't giving you as much as you thought you deserved, why do you what do you think she would tell me? She was I I really don't know, but um I think she would tell you that I'm not meant to stay with enough to have my own money. Or, because I don't know how to say That's probably why. So, I mean, so if that's the case, does she have a, uh, is, is, is it reasonable for her to be your payee and determine how the money gets doled out? See, she don't want to be my payee no more. And I don't want her to be my payee either. Because she, um, she act like the money just all hers. When it's not, it's right too, like. I, I don't mind sharing food stamps. Like last month, I got some food stamps. I got two hundred dollars uh, food stamps, and she gave me some money for it. She, she sold it to me. I so y'all have been in contact? Yes, we've been in contact, but it just. It when's just last been, time y'all talked? Um, two days ago. And does she know that you're homeless? No, I didn't tell her. Where does she think that you stay? She think that um, I'm, I'm in a group home because last time I talked to her, I told her I was going to a group home. But I lied because I didn't want her to know that I was on the street. Why? Because I don't I don't trust my mom. I think she would try to plot things behind my back. I like just don't like trust what? her. Like scams and stuff. Cause at first my god sister, I have an adopted sister, she was stealing my food stamps. And I didn't trust the process. And when I had put um what they call that when stealing my food stamps to um not restrain the order. Um, Basically, you you you, you told defects about it. You told yeah. right, and okay, okay. So, so okay. So you've been out here for a year, you say? Yes. And when you talk to your mom, how often do you talk to her? Um, every other week. And. She doesn't know that you're out on the streets. No. Okay. All right. Um, what I don't about? I don't want her to know. I don't want her to know. I guess I'm still curious as to why, why you don't want her to know. Because I feel I just feel like deep down she would plot things behind my back, like do scams on me and stuff like that, because she knows that I have mental health. And so she, you feel like what? I mean, what what type of scam? Like, like money scams or something like that. I mean, okay, okay. I don't trust her at all. Okay, okay. All right. So, okay, okay. So that's that's mom. So what about dad? You know, what, was dad present and active in our life growing up? No, no, he left when I was four years old. And so, what was y'all's relationship like in between four and now? It was somewhat okay, because he would yell at my mom all the time. No, I'm talking about what is your relationship like since he left? Oh, I don't have a relationship with him. So he doesn't, y'all don't talk, y'all don't? I don't see him, I don't talk to him. I don't do nothing like that. Why not? Because he left how he came in my life. He just came in, then he left, and never came back, never contacted me or nothing. How old were you then? I was about 14. And I had me a mentor, and she was a um, different color than I am. And she um, helped me a lot, a lot of things. We went to hero parties, we went to Christmas events when I was younger. I had a good childhood, but at the same time, I just wish my daddy was there, because I was dead to little girl. I was dead to little girl. Okay. All right. Um, 
Have you ever gotten an explanation as to why he wasn't more involved in your life? No, I'm still one the explanation to this day. Um, I don't know why. Um, he didn't tell me why. I talked to him when he came over last time. He seemed like everything was okay, but he just left the next day. When was the last time you talked to him? It's been a couple years, about like three years ago. Do you know his contact information? No. What's his name? Um, David. Da I think David Thomas or David Smith. You don't know his last name? But I can't, my memory not good, so I can't remember everything that happened in my childhood. I can't remember everything. What's your last name? Tatiana Thomas. So it's either David Thomas or David Smith? Mm -hmm. How old is he? I don't know how old he is. My mom, she um 40 some years old, but um I think he's a little younger than her. Where is he? Does he live here in Atlanta? I don't know he yet. Well, I mean, did he used to live here in Atlanta? Yes, yes. Is like this where he's from? Yeah, he got a son too. He got he have a son. What's his son's name? I'm not sure his son's name. It's been a while since I've seen him. But the last time I seen him was when he came over that day. My dad went to my room. My dad came over that day. When you was 14? Yes. So, I mean, how does it make you feel the, having the absence of your father's presence in your life? It made me depressed and sad because I see everyone being happy with their dad and stuff. And I feel like I should have both of my parents because it takes two to make um it takes two to make a baby and stuff so i feel like i should have at least two parents in my life but i only had one and it made me very sad and depressed so i mean if if your dad were to happen to come across this video on youtube what message do you have for him if he's watching right now, look him in the camera and tell him what's up, whatever's on your heart. I would be like, Dad, why did you have to leave me at a young age? I really love you. I still love you to this day, but I just need you to be in my life. And I just really need you because I always depend on men to try to help me and stuff like that. Which I don't want to depend on me. I want to depend on myself. So if, you, if it's possible that you can come back in my life, that'd be great. I'm not mad at you. I'm just, I just feel sad because you're not in my life. I mean, being a lady out here on the streets, um, do you have to sell yourself for money sometimes? Yes, I do. And so, at the lowest amounts, at the lowest points, how much would that be? To sell myself? Yeah, how much would you charge? About 200. And so how much would you charge at the highest amounts? Um, I say about five, five hundred. And is this like on the street or is this like online type deal? On the street. And so is this something that you do every day or how no, often do, do you do it? I do it like every two weeks or every week. Like once a week? Yes. How many guys would you see a day when you do that? Five. So do you have like a pimp that works with you? No, I just be walking down the street and guys holler at me and I just go from there. Okay. How does that make you feel um, when you say that out loud? It might feel sad because I don't want to be homeless. I don't want to be on the street. I want to find somewhere to stay. I want to better to get my check because I do get enough to get an apartment or get a hotel but I do want to stay to like stay by myself but the government think I'm not um stable enough yeah, to stable be able to handle your money myself. so and you say that your mom is getting your money right now yes every month mm -hmm. and she's not giving any of it to you no not really she only give me like a little bit of it and that's like so she still does give you a little bit yeah 
How much does she give you every month? She has $30. That's it? Yeah. Out of the $750? Mm -hmm. What age were you the first time that you did the selling yourself? Um, 21. I was 21 years old. So this is like a couple years ago? Yeah. So this was before you became homeless? Yes. So why was you doing it then? Because my mom, she was, like I told her, said that she was taking my money. She wouldn't give me no money, really. She only gave about 20 to $30. And I don't know what that can do. That, that can buy my hygiene and somewhat some clothes, but it's not going to last long. So what would you do with the money that you would earn um, doing that? What would you do with that money? I would um, go by and something to eat. I would get a hotel for like a day or two. And, um, well, I mean, before you, before when you was, when you was still living with mom, what would you do with the money then? I would give me something to eat because she, like, I didn't have food stuff then when I was living with her. I just got food stuff, so I would give me something to eat, or I would leave the house and go stay somewhere else because I, me and mom, we got we get into fights and arguments, and I just. I get it. Just get a little, get away for a second. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, so if mom were to happen to be watching this video on YouTube, mm -hmm. um, what message do you have for her? I would have for her that I just want her to love me as a mother and not take my money. And I would prove to her that I am stable and prove to the government I am safe enough to take care of myself. I've been out of the hospital for a while and I usually go every week and it don't seem like nobody's happy for me. It just seems like I'm just doing this, just be doing it. I want my family to be happy for me. I want my mom, my sisters, and my brothers to be happy for me. What'd you say, the, what the first thing you said, you want your who to be happy for you? My mom. Okay, okay. All right, miss. All right, well listen, if anybody out there I um, wanted to reach out, help, or donate. Uh, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Yes, I have cash app. Okay, what's your cash app? Cash sign Tatiana Thomas. You guys spell that for us? It's cash sign T Y A T E A N N A Thomas T H O M A S. Okay. All right, Miss. Well, listen, we really appreciate you, and we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, okay? Yes. Make sure you have a good one, all right? You too. All right.